So Alan, we know that uh, rec recruiters, I, I think there was a stat this, these days I was checking, like 87 of percent of recruiters uh, check LinkedIn to hire someone or sometimes they vet if they want to hire this person via their social platforms. And LinkedIn is becoming a very key important ingredient in job search, banner, headliner, about section. So in your in your expertise, do you check if let's say you found a good resume, do you check their profile? What do you check in LinkedIn? I always look at LinkedIn. LinkedIn actually structures your data and your history a lot better than resumes. Resumes are unstructured. People put them in all different formats. Yeah. LinkedIn has one unified format. So it helps me as someone who has to evaluate profiles quickly mm -hmm. to see someone's progression. So I always go to LinkedIn. Because of that on a resume, always have your LinkedIn URL mm -hmm. with a hyperlink there too. That's the only thing on your resume you should have a hyperlink to. Okay. And what do you check? Do you check the banner, headliner, about section, experience section? Well, how I, do you evaluate? Yeah. So I look at the name. I look at their face. Ideally, they're smiling at me. If not, like, it doesn't mean I rule them out, but that's but It's a human feeling, impression. right? It's, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Then I look at the companies that they've worked at. I look at the, their, their historical progression. Mm -hmm. I usually will expand the experience section all the way so that I can look at their entire experience from the yes. bottom up. And I look at what their trajectory has been from the beginning of their career to the end. Next, I'll look at schools. I'll look at the schools that they attended. I'll look at the degrees that they had. Next, I will look at, I, I, at recommendations. I don't care about skills. Yeah. Skills are a waste of time. I actually suggest people select skills yes. just in case people um, to help with LinkedIn recruiter for people that are reaching out to you. But don't focus on the skills, but do get a few recommendations. Yes. And I generally tell people aim for three to seven recommendations in the la within the last five years. You don't need to go crazy there. That, that's there, what I look for. Yeah. And there's also this debate or conversation, let's say, between what should be on resume and what should be on LinkedIn. Because resume, we always say, have it two pages. But if people were looking longer, maybe they should put on LinkedIn all your experiences and maybe relevant ones on, on your resume. What's your take about that? On both of them, they both serve as marketing assets. Yes. So ask yourself, is putting this job on here helping my case or hurting my case? Mm -hmm. So like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is a terrible product for you. It clogs your arteries, has lots of fat or cholesterol, um, lots of calories. But what it says on the bottle is made from cage-free eggs. So it talks about that one positive aspect. Yeah. So only put things on your resume that is are positive or are valuable. So whether it's a good logo, a good title, showing promotion, showing a wide, like a long period of time where you were at some place, yeah. ask yourself, why am I adding that here mm. on, on both of them? And, and then there are some idiosyncrasies of what I suggest for resume versus LinkedIn. And we can go there if you want. Yeah. Well, yeah. That would be um, So LinkedIn, I generally say don't put bullets in there. Hmm. Um, don't put your bullets for a couple of reasons. One, people aren't going to read it there. And also sometimes you might be disclosing uh, private information for a company. So if you work for Goldman Sachs and you increase their their business by 50% to like $150 billion, you may not want to put that in there um, because that might not be public information. On a resume, it's okay to put that there. So on the LinkedIn, company, title, years in those roles. If you've changed roles, if you even if it's lateral, show those differences within, within LinkedIn because seeing that variety, seeing that growth, seeing that breadth of experience demonstrates that you're a more valuable candidate. Mm -hmm. On the resume, you, you use bullets and okay. you only use three to five bullets max. Yeah. And with those bullets, make sure that you always start with the action verb. Yeah. So uh, led a team, spearheaded this effort, supercharged mm -hmm. results. Yeah. And I ideally use it with quantification as well. Those are great tips, Alan. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in LinkedIn, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Alan.